My name is Sven Raphael Schneider. I'm the founder of the Gentleman's Gazette and Fort Belvedere. And every week I receive many questions about myself and why I started it and Fort Belvedere, the brand. And so I decided to create a video about 50 things about me. All of my friends and family call me Raphael. I was born in Germany, and so there's not this concept of first, middle, and last name. And only when I came to the US, people started calling me Sven. So if you know me, you call me Raphael. I'm 30 years old. I'm happily married to my lovely wife, Teresa. I live in St. Paul, Minnesota. And I started in Gentleman's Gazette because I have a true passion for classic men's clothing, style, and uh, savoir vivre. Oh, well, most people say I'm immune to stress, and I agree with that. It doesn't really have a big effect on me. I'm very even keel, not big mood swings, and re reliable, and... Uh, I'm almost impossible to insult. Um, my wife would say I have a good memory, and uh, I don't really have favorites. I like many things, but it's difficult to, to pick just one thing. I'm a very earnest person. I uh, would call myself stylish. And I'm very happy, always with a smile on my face. A difficult one. Um, it used to be orange as a child, and then it became green. Now I don't have favorite colors anymore. I just love to combine them in my outfits. And um, yeah, no favorites. I like brown spirits, scotch bourbon and so forth but uh, it really depends on the season the mood i'm in and of course the occasion so i also like cucumber flavored cocktails and um, it's hard to pick a favorite i really dislike overcooked meats and fish um, yeah i really i rather not eat it than if it's overdone um, I also really don't like paper plates and plastic silverware. Um, as far as dish goes, I am not a fan of macaroni and cheese. Um, when it comes to movies, I generally don't like Disney movies or science fiction. I really dislike huge armholes on my jackets. I want small armholes so while I can move and I'm comfortable. I don't like gapping collars on my jacket and um, I don't like ties that are too long, just the right length and never extend past the waistband of the trousers. Um, other than that, I would say I don't like men who dress like teenagers in sneakers, cargo pants, t-shirts and baseball hats. What I really don't like, especially when I'm with people, is cell phones. People checking cell phones all the time and uh, sharing their stuff on Facebook. I prefer if people focus on the people around them. Um, I really like to entertain and have people over for dinner. And so table manners are very important to me. If they're not good, I'm not happy. Um, one of the things that... Um, I really hate it's waiting in line. No matter whether it's a grocery store or the movie theater, it's just not for me. <laughs> well, I would say it's rather sarcastic and ironic.
I'm very critical, very high standards, they said to others. So sometimes it may be overbearing and negative. Um, other than that, I'm not the most organized person. So I would definitely call it a weakness of mine. Red. I like full-bodied, bold red wines. Definitely both. I either wear a necktie or a bow tie whenever I have a dress shirt. And um, depends on my mood. Underwear. Well, <laughs> um, other than that, I would say dress shirts. I wear dress shirts a lot. And if it would be just one specific thing, I would say white linen pocket square. It's classic, goes with almost anything, and is great. One of the things that other people say is unique about my style is that I always try to never wear the same outfit twice. So even if I wear the same suit, I change a shirt, I change a tie, the boutonniere, the pocket square, the socks, the shoes. So I hardly ever wear an outfit twice. I love to play racquetball, and I do so weekly. Um, as a kid, I used to play soccer, basketball, and table tennis, but I just watch it occasionally on TV. I don't play anymore. Probably Settlers of Catan. Oh, there are quite a few. I would say recently I acquired 25 pairs of really unique suspenders from like silk to leather and cotton um, for like 20 bucks at an estate sale. Oh, that's a good one. Um, when I started out, I bought a lot of vintage clothes because that's what I could afford. Um, overall, I would say my morning coat from the 1920s and my tail coat from the 50s are my most prized vintage possessions. And I wore both of them on my wedding day. I have quite a few unique items, but the most unique would be a black and then silk-faced evening overcoat that goes with black tie and white tie ensembles. Oh, that's a tough one. I generally love to eat, I like meat, and if I had to break it down, I would say steak tartare. Wow, okay. Um, I don't just have just one, I have a number of them. So for white tie looks, I love the elegance of Jack Buchanan and David Niven. For pattern mixing um, and, and black tie looks, I like the Duke of Windsor because he thought outside of the box. For casual ensembles, I like Luciano Barbera. And for overall suits and elegance and style, I like Alain Delon, Helmut Berger, and Marcello Mastroianni for the Sprezzatura. I enjoy music. I hear lots of different kinds of music. But my number one favorite would probably be classical music. Hmm. I'm big into movies. I like movies, all kinds of movies, especially the ones where I have to think and where there's maybe a twist at the end, such as The Usual Suspects or Matrix. I don't really watch TV, but in terms of series, I would say House of Cards. Both. Black for evening wear, which I adore, and white for dress shirts. Hmm, I haven't counted recently, but it's probably about 25. With the Gentleman's Gazette, I hardly have time to read many other blogs, but one is about photography. It's called mingthein.com. The other one is inspirational pictures about style. It's called Vox Sartoria. Wow. Well, I purchased quite a few great things, but number one would be a set of 
four Goyard suitcases. And if you'd like to learn the entire story about it, follow the link. Shall we do iPhone or Android? Do people care?